gym bag which I put like nasty clothes in when I'm done working out. I have a couple travel cubes which have like toiletries and stuff in them for when I travel anywhere and I have this thing which has been my everyday bag for a long time. It's a backpack with a camera cube in the bottom of it so you open this up you got your basic dividers and a pocket I can fit my laptop in the top of it, I can fit my gimbal and my tripod on the sides and it carries pretty much everything that I would need on day to day basis or if I were traveling. But it's a lot to carry every single day. Um, I kind of wanted to downsize and have something smaller that I could just take like a camera and a lens with me on a day to day basis because I like ha always having a camera with me. So. The first one I tried was this weird thing. Um, it's the Caden Sling camera bag on Amazon and it was like 40 bucks and I don't like it at all. You can attach a tripod to the bottom and blah 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 but there's just something about the design that I don't like. I don't understand why the strap has to attach up here and I don't understand why you would need a pocket on each side to open this thing up and get your camera stuff. I, I don't know. It's just a weird design. I don't like it. So, I bought the Peak Design 10 liter everyday sling and this thing is awesome. Uh, I really like how well it's made and designed. I like the materials, the color, everything about it I really like. But two things about it kind of annoy me. Um, one, when my camera is all the way down in the bottom of this thing, there's like half the bag of negative space above it. So if you put it down like this, your camera's sliding around inside, which is not cool to me. Um, I want my camera tight and held in there. The second thing I don't like about the Peak Design Everyday Sling is these. These are removable tripod straps. So if you're carrying your gimbal or your tripod underneath this bag, these are the straps that you do it with, and they're removable. They have these little hooks that hook onto these loops that are built into the bag and I just don't like them. They're hard to tighten and loosen and I don't like that they're removable because that makes me think if my tripod gets pushed up the wrong way it's going to push one of these out and then my $350 tripod is going to come crashing to the ground while I'm carrying this thing. And that's just not something I want to worry about, especially when it would be so easy to just design the bag with built-in tripod straps, like the original version of this. I don't know why they would remove that, but it's just a gripe that I have with it. Other than that, it's a really nice bag. It's well padded, and I just can't find anything to complain about it. It has a good deal of storage inside. There's an extra pocket that has like a magnetic clasp on the top, and then there's another extra pocket on the inside right in the front where you could put like spare batteries or wires or whatever. So it's a good bag but that size issue was the main gripe for me where if it were on its side like when you have a tripod attached to the bottom your camera's going to be rolling around inside. I, I can't live with that. So the next one I tried was the smaller version which fixed the size issue. Now my camera's right up against the top 
when it's down inside the bag, but, and I should have known, it still has the removable straps in the front, which I really don't like. Other than that, I'm not gonna complain about it. I really think that these bags are well designed and Peak Design is a responsible company. Like, they don't use slave labor like most brands on Amazon and blah, 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 but, um, other than those two gripes, they're great bags. I really like this smaller six liter sling. Um, it feels good when it's on you. Not too heavy, not too cumbersome like the backpack. And I think that this is the one that I'm gonna end up sticking with unless I find another sling that has built-in tripod straps because that was kind of a deal breaker for me. I totally just blanked out, sorry. Um, but anyway, thank you for joining me on another episode of Sam Has a Spending Problem and I'll see you guys in the next one.